What's up? I'm Unknown Shadow. This is Albert. Today I wanted to go and look at what's the difference between my speedometer and real world. Especially with the sprocket and all the mods. That way I can throw a speedo healer on this thing which has been sitting on my desk for a little while. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of test runs comparing GPS speed and speedometer speed. Trying to keep it at fairly steady. The manual said 60 miles an hour. We'll see if I can hold 60. Those numbers seem really, really off. We'll see if I can get to 50 on this road. It's a little bit hilly, which is kind of annoying, but I don't really have a lot of options out here. Oh, there's another setting in here. Look, all right. I think I trust this display a little bit better. So it's sitting at 52, and it looks like 47 miles per hour. Trying to keep it relatively steady at 50. I can get this bike up. It says right now 57 at 52 miles an hour, 58 at 53, so basically 5 miles per hour off. We'll keep it at that, we'll get back into the garage, put the speedo healer and go with those numbers. What's dead? Oh, there's a dead thing. Cool. Alright, so what we have this 12 o'clock lab speedo drd this is specifically the honda monkey one it does have the plugs should be easy enough so put these things on they're really cute pain in the ass to get off not so sure i'll be putting these back on i want to run into a fuck ton easier Seriously? Both sides? I thought these were supposed to be quick release. <laughs> I'll just go back to the old Allen bolts. <laughs> Damn. That was a lot longer than it should have been. So we had to figure out which wires, of course. We have these two guys, blue and white. We got this little guy right here, white and green. Just have to peel this guy back and release that and figure out how to snake that through. Mm -hmm. a small bike. There's definitely a lot of wires on it. Cool. It's that bullet connectors. A lot looser than I had expected. Okay, now I've got a B. Hey. Okay. Go away, B. There. That's a lot tighter, which is good. Cool. Let's cover that up with this weird industrial condom. Awesome. Provided I did that right, that's done. The next step is, of course, to get under there, under the tail again. I'm tired of taking that off. So instead, we'll just fast forward it. Now that we have that done. So now we got this guy. Gotta feed him through here. This guy's gonna stay up in this area. All right. What we're going to do is slide that back in there. Okay, bigger plug, smaller plug. So these are the two new wires right here. So yeah, we've got the two connectors there. We've got him here. Guy and here. Provided everything works, should be able to turn on the bike and we'll see some blinks. There we go. There's a test mode for frequency and all I gotta do is hold this 
for eight. And then you'll see that flashing. And then if I hold it until it goes green, then the speedometer will have a number on it. Green. And then speedometer goes to four. Cool. All right. So I went to their website, put in the numbers from the testing earlier, about minus five miles per hour, which on their website calculates to about negative 8.9%. And we hold this for five blinks to get it into the setting mode. Five blinks. Hold until red for negative. Hold for 10 blinks for a zero. Now I hold for eight blinks. And now I hold for nine blinks. And that should be set. Back to the stock. So it's just so much easier. All that's left is to go and give this thing a test. And we're back on the bike. Cool. So, bike seems to be working. Positive. I'm gonna try to do the same test as before. Noticeably, 46 on both. That seems about right. I'd say that's pretty successful. Overall, the installation was actually pretty easy. Getting some wires and trying to find the right plugs, nothing really too difficult. The programming interface is interesting. Lots of little blinky lights and holding the button, but whatever. Indicated is a little bit lower than actual, but I'm okay with that. Maybe that'll slow me down on some things. It's stupid. Oh, this is not a good idea. All right, but with that, everything's a lot more accurate. Allows me a chance to also have slightly more accurate mileage. Seems worth it. So cool. With that, you know, like, subscribe, do those things if you want to do those things. Otherwise, I'll be having a good day. Bye. So cold.